Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to start off by giving you an overview of this article, the situation here. I'll perhaps scroll through the article to make sure I give you all of the correct and important information. There is a link in the description if you'd rather go through that. But in essence, this is in regards to the shooting that occurred in Philadelphia on June the 4th, last weekend. Um, there's been shootings last weekend as well as the week before. But this is in regards to the June 4th shooting. Um, two, I'll say, scumbags have been arrested and they face murder charges in the deaths of two seemingly innocent people. The innocents are called Alex Quinn and Christopher Minners. The two alleged guilty shooters, alleged guilty murderers, are Quadir Dukes Hill and Najee Whittington. Najee Whittington's just turned 18 years of age over the last couple of days. They were caught and apprehended in Virginia. Uh, so these two scumbags, Quadir Dukes Hill and Najee Whittington, uh, who are the shooters, they're friends. And after the shooting incident last, last uh, week, June the 4th, they both ran off together to Virginia. They've been caught in Virginia. They're going to be extradited to Philadelphia. They've not been given bail. Um, so as far as we know, the shooting took place on South Street in Philadelphia. South Street is the entertainment district or within the entertainment district within Philadelphia. Bars, clubs, restaurants. That type of thing. And this happened, if I recall, early in the morning, something like 2 a.m., 4 a.m. I can't remember the details and it's not telling us here. But, uh, you know, early in the morning, after a night out, people are milling, milling, uh, hanging around on their way home. They're having a nice little chat outside the bars, outside the clubs. And then shooting, a shooting occurs. So seemingly what happened is these two scumbags, Quadir and Najee, they heard gunfire. Apparently there was gunfire from about a block away. So what do these two geniuses decide to do? They both decided to instantaneously, to instantaneously turn around and shoot indiscriminately towards a crowd. And that's what they did. Two people died, Alex Quinn and Christopher Minners. Uh, they weren't particularly targeted. They don't know these, the shooters don't know the victims. There's no beef between them. There was no altercation between them. These two idiots, Quadir and Najee, heard gunfire from some way away. They decided to turn around and start shooting indiscriminately. I mean, what is that? I mean, obviously it's reckless, but it's dumb, isn't it? Isn't that really dumb? You hear gunfire, so you just turn around and start shooting randomly at random people. At a random crowd. I mean who the fuck does that? What kind of fucking moron would you have to be to do that? How does that help anything? You don't know who you're shooting at. You're just shooting at people that are minding their own business. They've just come out of a bar or a club or a restaurant. You know. They're wearing their weekend outfit. Perhaps they've had a few drinks. Perhaps they've had a few chemicals. Whatever it is. But they're just minding their own business. Trying to have some fun. And then they get shot at. And tragically two people died. So before I forget, full condolences to the victims, to the victims' families. And I'm glad that uh, the surveillance video have been able to identify Tweedledum and Tweedledee, Quidia, Dukes Hill and Najee Whittington. I hope the investigation and the trial is able to, to proceed without issue and that these guys get exactly what uh, is coming to them. That's pretty much all the details apart from this final uh, paragraph which does have me confused to be honest so i may be misinterpreting this final paragraph but i'll read it out to you officials have said the gunfire started with a fight between two people who then began firing a total of 17 shots at each other one of those two people 34 year old gregory jackson was killed and the other was wounded no charges are planned in that case since both had permits to carry and that shooting is considered self-defense now as i say that confuses me this paragraph here confuses me i think what it is saying is that tweedledum and tweedledee heard some shooting and this is the shooting that they heard 
So in a completely different group, I think. Um, certainly, you know, not related to Tweedledum, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Not aimed at Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Two idiots had an argument. They both started shooting at each other. Apparently with one of them in self-defense. Um, but that shooting occurred. And if I understand it correctly, that's what prompted Tweedledum and Tweedledee to turn around and start shooting randomly. Um, as far as I understand. I mean, I don't know. Are they as dumb as Golden Retrievers? No offense to Golden Retrievers. But that's how it seems to me. Uh, in any case, I'm going to wrap things up here at this point, guys. Hopefully, I've done a half-decent job. I know I've not done a spectacular job in covering this. It's been a little bit confusing. But again, this is in regards to the last weekend's June 4th shooting in Philadelphia. Two scumbags ran off to Virginia. They've been caught. Um, there's surveillance footage, which should be adequate evidence, touch wood, to be able to secure these guys a conviction. They've been charged with murder charges. Uh, they're both 18 years of age at this point. One was 17 just a few days ago. Two victims both died. Alex Quinn, Christopher Minners. Full condolences to them and their families. And uh, that's about it, guys. I'm going to thank you for your time.